I think New York is young. New York is tireless. I think New York City is just crazy. New York is a place full of aliens. New York is bright. I can dress and do the makeup wherever I like and it so makes sense in New York. Like I, you could be anywhere, do anything, and still express yourself to the fullest. My name is Shadow, and I'm currently a philosophy student, but I do fashion too. My favorite part about being in New York is that I can be whoever I want to be, and people are not going to judge me in whatsoever. Be young forever. Being an Asian girl and dressing a certain way is definitely have certain connotation. I'm proud to have black hair and black eyes and look Asian. And I kind of want to use that and incorporate that into my whole like, personal style. Because it's just one part of me. New York is really the only place that lets you see everything lets you be influenced by all kinds of, of cultures and, and, and backgrounds. My name is Leo, Leo Zhang. I'm a freelance cinematographer. As someone who's from China, being here lets you see so many different parts of the world, so many different backgrounds, cultures, and, and how, they, how people live. And New York wouldn't be New York without the influences of these different races. Is the fact that we're all here in the same place. We're all here fighting for the same thing in the end, which is to do what we want to be able to have a way of expression. And without it, you know, we wouldn't be such colorful human beings. I don't never use color to see people. I more use their talent and their passion. I think those things link us together, not color. I'm Rao, uh, I'm from Beijing, China. I'm an environmental researcher and a content creator. So I'll use social media as a tool to communicate with public in order to raise up a awareness of environment, society, and people. I started with this uh, face mask protest since March 2020, last year, just at the beginning of the pandemic. I just want to raise up the topic of waste management. Because, you know, we will generate so many waste during this pandemic. And where are those used, the face mask go? So I just create this collection to ask this question to the world. Unlike in Korea, where I I'm a female, I am young, or like, I'm the first child. There's no categories to tag me in New York. My name is Ari, I'm an artist in New York who use my body and my brush to perform myself. Being in New York, you can do whatever you like. I think that's the beauty of being in New York and being an artist here. If you only become a painter, you only have a canvas to show who you are. But if you are a dancer, you need to actually put your body in front of the whole audience. That's what makes dancing unique. I'm way too American to be Korean, and with Americans, I'm way too Korean to be American. So I'm always in like a weird middle line. I'm Raphael, or A Body A Closet, and I'm a full-time content creator. I created a character called A Body, which is a faceless version of me. It's almost like a, a good mock of how social media influencers are, as in I make vlog content, travel content, fashion content. And for me, being an artist here, it really forces me to come out of my shell and actually met one of my biggest inspirations, uh, Kit Super, in his own gallery, where I just happened to walk by. And I'm not an extroverted person, but when I went to that event, Everyone there was so welcoming and people approached me first to talk and I think a lot of artists here like to share with others and just want to get to know others and meet interesting people.